For the first Ashland Legion broadcast of the 2017 season, we were under the lights at Mahan Field in Natick on Tuesday, June 13th. Natick was playing in their first game, and Ashland was riding high after a 10-0 road win in Hudson the previous day. Natick led Ashland 2-1 heading into the bottom of the fifth, but added on. One and two, the count on Wilson. Kennedy Wilson having a pretty good day, an RBI double in the first inning. Reached on a fielder's choice in the third and scored the second run, and now hits this one into left field. That'll drop in for a base hit. One run is in, and the lead runner behind him held up at third. So Dobek scores, Ferrucci to third, Stone to second on the RBI single for Wilson. Infield is in as he hits this one up the left side. That'll get through into left field. One run is in. A second run being waved around. The throw in is cut off. And another pair scores for Natick. On the RBI single for Horney, the two RBI single. Wilson up to second. Ferrucci and Stone both score, and there's still no outs. Natick plated six runs in the fifth inning and never looked back, taking the game 11-4. The next day, Wednesday, June 14th, Ashland Post 77 played their first home game of the season at Ashland Middle School. They hosted 1-1 one one Medford. Bottom of the first, Ashland loads up the bases and then takes advantage of the situation. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to right field, arranging over, making the catch for the second out, but runner from third is tagging and he will score. And it's a one nothing lead for post 77. A sacrifice RBI for O'Leary. Line up in the pitch, up the left side, dropped by the third baseman, picks it up, throw to first, is going to get away, run scores. And now the lead runner is going to move up to third. Two nothing post 77. Ashland plated two in the inning. The score stayed two nothing Ashland until the top of the fourth. Two on, one out. Set the deal. And this is a liner into center field. It'll drop in. One run is in. A second run being waved around as it rolls past Obit and Pesson. And we have a tie game. A two RBI base hit. The double scores two runs. And then a bit later, this hit scores a third run. Medford then added two more runs in the top of the fifth to make it a 5-2 lead over Ashland. Up the left side, past O'Leary, and one run is in. Bottom of the fifth, post 77 had a response. And he will crush this ball over to left field, and that will get by the left fielder. Fargo, lead runner, is going to be waved around. Here comes Ronan Bates, and it's a 5-3 ball game. An RBI base hit for Thomas. Absolutely tattooed that ball. Might want to step out, call time, do something to disrupt his rhythm. And he will hit this in the air over to right field, tracking it down, not able to get there is Payne. One run in, a second run being waved around. And the lead runner behind him will be held up at third. But guess what? We are tied at five. A two RBI base hit by Ethan Tominski, who stands over at first base. Three runs for Ashland in the bottom of the fifth. Tied the game up at five. Top of the sixth. Medford takes back the lead. Wind up in the pitch. And this is lined up the middle, and it is going to be grabbed by the shortstop, but it'll have no play, and a run will score. Six to five, Medford, an RBI single. Post 77 offense not going away, however. Here is what happened in the bottom of the sixth. Morning at a 419 to be exact. Be a junior next season. And we'll line this one in a center. That'll drop down for a hit. Runner being waved around third. Seymour is going to score the game tying run. It's six to six. An RBI single for Horning. 
Runner taking a big lead off of first, and that one is up high. And the runner will just steal over to second. I almost think he thought that was a walk, but steals uncontested. So Bates now at second. We'll give him a defensive indifference, I think, on that one. There he goes. And that one gets away. Runner from third horning going to score. And post 77 has taken the lead. It's seven to six as Thomas will get the free pass to first. Ashland took the seven to six lead by playing two runs in the inning. Medford now down to their final out in the top of the seventh. Mahan flies out, that would do it. Ashland takes the wild game, seven to six. There were four lead changes in this one. Ethan Tominski went two for three and had a pair of RBIs. Jackson Horning went two for three with a walk, RBI, and he scored a run as Ashland improves to two and one on the young season.